So we're going to do a quick overview of uh, some of the techniques used in uh, producing boat covers using M-panel production. And uh, although this is going to actually work, uh, or we're going to use the demonstration, the latest version of M-panel production, which is version uh, version six, uh, but most of the techniques will apply just as well with uh, with with version five. The starting point, point of course, is a frame. Uh, drawn using uh, digital measuring equipment and the kind of data we get in from from that equipment varies uh, quite a lot um, both in its quality and its uh, accuracy and one of the things which uh, doesn't get talked about a lot um, but is the requirement to adjust the uh, received digital data to suit the uh, the, the the framing uh, requirements and Basically, what we're looking for is we're looking for a, a, a set of a set of curve entities um, to where we have essentially one curve entity for each side of a panel that we're that we're going to make. And sometimes this will require um, joining together a couple of measured uh, uh, curves. Sometimes it will require uh, splitting them apart. Sometimes there will be measuring difficulties in getting into sharp corners, and so we may have to extend those. This modification of the of polylines is done partly in Rhino and partly using some of the M panel tools. And one of the a uh, couple of tools that we want to highlight is if you look at this series of um, digitized points just here, you can see a sort of a waviness in them. And we've got to ask, that, did that waviness occur actually really in the structure or was it, uh, was it due to the operator as he went round with the, with the measuring device perhaps moving his hand um, into a slightly different position on this part of the frame. And so it's often quite useful to go in and smooth the data out. And uh, one, one of the things we can do is we can fit a smooth curve into a polyline and that uh, you can specify the number of smoothing points. The smaller the number of smoothing points that we specify, the smoother the curve will be, but possibly the less accurately it will follow the, um, the existing point. So it's a little bit of a balancing act. But if I use six points there, you can see we get a curve which deviates a little bit from, from the, uh, the measured ones. Um, but maybe that gives a, a smoother curve which is going to have perhaps a crisper look on the seam on the actual boat cover. Now it's a matter of judgment of course as to whether that um, is losing accuracy by not using exactly the measured points or gaining accuracy by smoothing out some of the, the measuring errors. But in general I quite like to see um, you know, fairly smooth curves to be joined. There's a, sp a specific situation where with a measuring uh, equipment you may not be able to get into a tight corner uh, a corner perhaps like this you may have to stop just here and just here and there's a useful tool in the uh, uh, data preparation here to extend polys to meet so for instance if the uh, if when measuring these two these two frame members the closest that we could get into the uh, corner was was this point just here um, having converted both of these into different kinds of uh, different uh, size polylines, we can then say extend those polys to meet, select those two, and modify them like that, and we get the um, the uh, the correct uh, joined polys just there with an extension at the end. And this can be quite useful when we're working into tight frame members. Just just skimming over some of the other possibilities there. Um, we, we earlier we fitted a smooth curve to a poly. If we know that the curve is meant to be in a single plane, and this happens with frame members when they're built on a uh, on a frame bending machine, then we can fit a planar curve to the poly, and that ensures that the uh, the um, the curve shown on the frame in the drawing stays in one plane. We can fit an arc to the poly, and we can also offset a poly. You can see the offset. Uh, command here and the offset poly is, is often used when um, we can only measure let's say on the bottom of a tubular frame member 
but the fabric needs to go onto the top so we need to offset the uh, we need to offset the actual measured poly to create the real real fabric poly by by a certain amount